Explosion. Gia Miller goes around the ring with one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Danny Luna of Spitfire. Also, the Don West, you've got to be kidding me, top five trending topics of the week. Plus, in case you missed it. And as well, Tasha Steeles goes one-on-one -on -one with the debuting Ava Everett in Knockouts action. But first, DNA Plus presents From the Vault. Explosion starts now. Rob Van Dam going after the massive legs of Rhino. Oh! Both these guys have very, very large legs. Both former Impact Wrestling and ECW World Champions. Old school rules down. What exactly does that mean? I believe that Ooh. means there are no rules, and the innovator of violence is the referee that tells you everything you need to know. God, Rhino's terrifying. He's just big, thick, powerful, and mean. You don't want to stay away from Rhino when he's out here. What does he have? That's a mop. a mop, which I guess is technically legal. Oh, old school rules. Oh, and Ooh. RVD takes advantage of Rhino filling the ring with weapons here in New York. Oh! RVD and Rhino These right These two are here. just trading in front of us here. Yeah, this is, you can look into the eyes of RVD, so intense, as is Rhino. Oh, oh, that was nasty. RVD went low and now just, oh, ripped to the eyes by Rhino. What's he doing now? What is it? Well, that's, Watch that's, out, get him away from us. Yeah, that's not a, a, a folding, that's, oh, steel frame Who's on the, the chair. Man, No regard for ringside personnel. <laughs> you mean us. Rhino, RVD. Ooh! Oh, Rhino! Oh, man, he went for the Lariat and he got caught. Wrapped his arm around the steel post. RVD with a dive! Oh, God, right in front of us. Yeah! Van Dam nope. takes down Rhino. 240 pounds of Rob Van Dam wiped out Rhino. And it was right here, down. You can hear the thud of the bodies on the ground. So many years of rivalries between all three of these men. Don, you were right there for the thick of it. I really was. I mean, Rhino broke Rob Van Dam's leg. I remember that. I was there that night. We celebrated that night. We thought that Ew. that's nice. We thought that was the end of Rob Van Dam. It wasn't. And now 20 years later, Rob Van Dam is better than ever, in my opinion. RVD. Spinning kick, and they're back inside the ring. This old school rules match. And shockingly, Dreamer so far has been impartial. Wh whose side do you think Tom? Oh, he's obviously on Rhino's side of this whole thing. Uh, you know. There's a cover. Let's see if we get a... Tommy's one of those holier-than-thou types who likes mm -hmm. to lecture people. Mm -hmm. Probably more interested in Katie Forbes than he is in refing this match, if I know Tommy. Oh! And there's the mop. And Rhino using it to his advantage. You have to understand that... From Dreamer's perspective, he thought he was the face of ECW. Rob thought the same thing. A lot of ego involved here. Well, what's your opinion? I think Tommy was the heart and soul of ECW, but Rob was the flagship. There's, there was no one like Rob Van Dam, and there still isn't, by the way. Rhino has RB. Oh, it just slams him onto the steel chair. Oh, oh, that time oh, came wow. up empty. Rob just too quick. Rhino went for the headbutt, hit the chair. And now Rob, we know what he we know that Rob knows what to do with the steel chair, and we're about to see it. Can RVD capitalize? 
Ooh, oh. with a shot. Liver punch. Here we go. Oh, Van Dam eats the top of the chair. That might have caught him over across the throat down. I think so. Katie Forbes with, uh, looks concerned about her man. Yeah. Snapmare by Rhino. Look at the size of Rhino. There's nobody like him. Big, thick, powerful. That, and now Rhino, he smells blood in the water, doesn't he? Yeah, for the first time, he's in full control. And when Rhino has his man on the ground like that, there's no one more dangerous. And now the chair laid across the chest of Rob Van Dam, courtesy of Rhino. Here comes Rhino! Oh, Van Dam takes advantage! That's nasty. Rhino is... Oh, he's got to buy himself some time. He's got to stay away from RVD at this point. Dreamer's letting him play. Don mentioned it before, he's so dangerous with this chair in hand. Huh? He's not giving it to the people. Oh, maybe he is. Oh! RVD, look at the chair, twisted and bent. That went right off the face of Rhino. What will Van Dam do next? A rolling thunder? I think so. RVD's... Oh, well, he's not going to give it to them. Not playing the hits. I like the new Rob Van Dam. But Don, I mean, he, he rolling thunder and then pick up the win. I mean, he's is he kind of hurting himself here? I think he wants to send a message. He didn't want this match. Rhino did. He's going to make sure Rhino never wants another one. Van Dam looking for a monkey flip out of the corner. Rhino trying to counter. He's got him up. Oh, no, no, Van no, Dam no. Trying to fight oh, free. God. Power bomb into the chair. Shoulders down and a kick out at two. What a power bomb on the chair by Rhino. 33 nights away from Hard to Kill, live on pay-per-view on a night where Sammy Callahan faces Ken Shamrock, Tessa Blanchard faces Madman Fulton, courtesy of each other picking their opponents. And what is Rhino looking for? New York City wants a seat at the table. Here it comes. Saw a lot of this in Queens. Rhino has the table. And can Rhino take advantage? That's how you raise a kid. Lovely child here in New York Ooh. chanting for fire. Future arsonist. <laughs> Damn, we're going to hang Rhino up here. Rhino's so big, but RVD so strong. Van Dam dropped the leg. Rob now going under the ring, going to get a table of his own. Well, perhaps garbage Maybe can. Maybe not. Sends that garbage can into the ring, and here comes RVD. Weapons are everywhere. Where's he going to put it? Where it belongs, in the corner. RVD setting up the weapons wherever he wants. Does he look conflicted to you, Don? Or he, Not he, at all. Okay. Took too much time, and Rhino capitalizes. Rhino taking advantage. A headbutt from Rhino is not just a normal headbutt, is it? Oh. You could say that. Oh. 
Table now, Rhino redirects it, because that's a perfect position for a gore. Rob needs to be aware of where he is in the ring. Stay away from that move. Oh, no, big power slam coming. I just throw him through the table. Yeah, he, he did not have Van Damme's weight distributed. Allowed him to get out the back. Van Damme spins out of the way. Remember, that's where he tried to put the chair moments together. RVD, will we see a little? Got it! No! Oh, split leg and moonsault comes up empty. And there's the goal! Oh, God! Through the table! And Rhino can drag RVD towards the center of the ring. Shoulders down. And Katie Forbes pulled Dreamer out of the ring. Thought he gave a slow count, I guess. Dreamer looked down. Katie Forbes proud of herself, but she may want to turn around. Oh, boy. Come on. RVD with a schoolboy on Rhino, who spins through. Van Dam. Rhino. Belly to belly. Oh, my god. Rob's lower back caught one of those metal legs. Yeah. And now Van Dam going to stand up. He has no idea what's coming his way. Here comes Rhino, sidestep by Van Dam. Rhino's down. RVD pops up. Van Dam looking for the five star frog splash. My God. Rhino down. RVD into the cover. Shoulders down. And Van Dam has pinned Rhino on impact. Here is your winner. And now, here on Sienna Explosion, it's time for the Don West, you've got to be kidding me, top five trending topics of the week in honor of the late, great TNA Hall of Famer, Don West. Coming in at number five, it's the essential matches in TNA history circa 2004, and they're available now on TNA+. Plus. Head to TNAWrestling.com right now to sign up and subscribe for TNA+. Plus. You haven't seen anything until you've seen everything. You do not want to miss this list of the essential matches that set TNA on fire 20 years ago. At number four, we saw a huge return in the Rebellion referendum recently on TNA Impact. Leon Slater, the 19-year-old prodigy from England, made his triumphant return to TNA. Many TNA wrestling fans got a glimpse of what Leon Slater is capable of in the Impact Zone back at the Turning Point event at the back end of 2022. Leon Slater was officially signed to TNA Wrestling as a part of the TNA UK Invasion Tour last year and made his first appearance as an official part of the roster in the Rebellion referendum match and Slater showed out. At number three in the main event of TNA Impact, Jordan Grace successfully retained her Knockouts World Championship one-on-one -on -one against Tasha Steeles. Remember, Tasha Steeles was griping that she was not the one pinned in the triple threat match for the Knockouts World Championship at Sacrifice, where Jordan Grace also retained her championship. Well, the juggernaut took care of the Bariqua Badass and now looks forward to Rebellion. Jordan Grace will be defending her Knockouts World Championship against Steph DeLander, live in Las Vegas. At number two, speaking of Las Vegas, we will see Full Metal Mayhem return to a TNA ring for the first time since Hard to Kill 2023. It's Eric Young versus Frankie Kazarian in Full Metal Mayhem at Rebellion. Remember, this all got sparked in Las Vegas when Frankie Kazarian turned his back on Eric Young. Since then, Kaz has dubbed himself the king of TNA. Well, Eric Young is back for revenge. It all goes down live at the Palms at Rebellion on Saturday, April 20th. And at number one, at Rebellion, we know who will be challenging Mustafa Ali for the X Division Championship. Jake Something emerged victorious from the chaotic Rebellion referendum match and now has a date with Ali for the X Division Championship. Jake Something had promised at No Surrender that he would capture the X Division Championship in 2024. 
Now Jake Something gets his chance on Saturday, April 20th, live on pay-per-view, TNA+, Plus, Triller TV, YouTube, and internationally on the zone. It's Mustafa Ali versus Jake Something for the X Division Championship at Rebellion. Still to come, it's Tasha Steeles going one-on-one -on -one with the debuting Ava Everett. But up next, it's Around the Ring with Gia Miller. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, and now it's time for Around the Ring with me, Gia Miller. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Around the Ring. As always, I'm Gia Miller. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, Danny Luna. Dana, Danny, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm, I like that you called me special. Yeah. Oh, you're you're very Am special. Thank you. You're so special. I've been trying to get you on this show for a and while now. Yeah, she has been. <laughs> she's she's an elusive creature. She's like, I have to be mysterious yeah. and can't and know too much can't, about can't me. Know too At much least about mystique. Danny, but I I know where I'm headed already okay. because as we're sitting here, y'all can't see it yet, but I can see it. There is a little beaver. <laughs> uh, there's a little fe a little friend. Uh, a little beaver. A little, a little tattoo a little here. It's. Is this not the cutest thing? He's little... drinking a beer. Yeah, he's he's fun. Uh, wh when did you get this? What what is is there a meaning behind of this? Of course, there's a meaning. Okay. I, I mean, this, 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 this feels like very something very personal. Please tell me about this. So, beaver. Um, the beaver comes from uh, one trip we did for uh, Impact at the time. Okay. Um, me, the Subculture Boys, and mm -hmm. Jody. I think it was either Windsor or London. So it was when we had a big drive from Toronto. Okay. And um, we just spent the whole like four days together. And at the end, we were just like, we we're all best friends. We should get tattoos. Oh my God. <laughs> it was the most like 18 year old behavior. No, ever. that's fabulous. Really that's so we went to a lady called Lauren in Toronto. And we were just like, can we have beavers? I feel like that's very Canadian. Yeah, very. But then be an actual beaver, you know, they're not too super cute. No, no, no. Um, that, so we were like, that's a cute beaver. We like make him cute yeah. and give him a beer. And be give him a beer, yeah. <laughs> and I, it's like a red stripe as well, so he's budget friendly. I believe Lauren actually did a tattoo for me as well. Did she do the... Uh, she gave me my knockout tattoo. Yeah, yeah. 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 She, she, she knows how to hook Yeah, yeah, up. yeah, because Jody, we she came in and uh, did a bunch of knockouts tattoos for us. It was really cool. I'm not showing mine because I'm not wearing proper shoes, as always. Uh, and mine's on my ankle. Uh, but, okay, well, just roll it, roll up the sleeve. We Hold on, wait, I see okay. a turnbuckle. We've got, yeah, the Defend Indie Wrestling turnbuckle yeah. for all my good friends. Um, this potion bottle is from a meme. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen the meme? It's like this guy and he's on the like the MacBook screen time and you can add all the effects uh -huh, and it makes uh -huh. his face weird. He does this whole thing where he's like, um, one side of him is pretending to ask for, po he asks for potions from a potion seller and the other guy's selling the potions. Oh my <laughs> and God. he like leans to the screen, his face changes and that's how he changes characters. Wow. Um, wow. And it's so silly, it's about 40 minutes long. I, um, I normally am very aware of memes. And I'm not aware it's, of this one, yeah, so I no, be. no. It's I'm adding it to the to the list of this is my list of yeah, memes. I'll here. send it to you. I, um, oh, okay, good, good, good. So yeah, that one's from a meme. <laughs> um, this little watercolor sea turtle. Oh, that's beautiful. It's just a nice, colorful one. Yeah. So I think um, I like turtles. I wanted to originally this was going to be an animal sleeve, and then I gave up. But then I got the beaver, so we're tying it back in. Sure. Yeah. So maybe we'll see. I I have this like I don't know what it is. Like I love turtles. Turtles are super cool. Not necessarily my favorite animal or anything, but whenever I see someone with a turtle tattoo, I like immediately respect them for some reason. Yeah. I, so, and I didn't even know you had that and I already respected you, so. <laughs> double respect. <laughs> double respect, double <laughs> respect. As I'm looking at your your arm and hands, and are these your only tattoo? I, you've got more. I have one on my ankle. I have like a rose on my ankle. and I think that's it. Yeah. I'd like more. I'm just not very, problem is I'm too carefree. Sure. I will just get something stupid, obviously. I've lucked out that they're all kind but of fun. But it's a story. Yeah, they're all kind of fun. Yeah. But I don't trust myself to not go too far. Sure, <laughs> sure. I only have two, and you can't ever see either of mine on TV, but uh, I have a magnolia on my rib cage because yeah. uh, I'm a steel magnolia from Mississippi. Wow. You ever seen that movie, yeah. Dolly Parton? No. Oh, all right, we're having a movie tonight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll, we'll have, everybody gets an episode two, so episode two will be after we've It'll watched. It'll be our review of the movie. Yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. after we've watched Steel Magnolias together. Yeah, Julia Roberts, uh, great cast, super funny, super heartwarming. Uh, the basis of my entire personality. <laughs> uh, but I, as I'm looking here, I, I'm looking at your coffee cup too. Uh, 
that doesn't look like Danny or Luna or what? It, it doesn't look like anything. It doesn't look like anything. I, I believe. I spelt my name out for the poor lady. And it looks her. like uh, they gave you the name Clouder. I think it's the accent. Clouder. But I think in my accent, I spell stuff better. Mm. You know? Yeah. A, B, okay. C, D. It's all very clear. Mm hmm Very. She she wasn't up for it, I could tell. Yeah. At yeah. least she did it on purpose, didn't she? Like Maybe. That. Maybe she has a, a vendetta against uh, uh, the Brits. Yeah. Maybe. Or Possibly. beavers. Or, oh. Yeah, she's she a hater. She saw the beaver tattoo and she was like, mm, scum. Nope, not today. Not happening. Well, what do you, what's, your, what's your starboard's okay. order? Hold this on. Is a, this is the whole thing. Okay, all right. So. This is a iced Americano, or okay. was. It's been nursed for about three hours. Love an Americano. Um, I'd love a cold brew, mm -hmm. but sometimes they stay with you a bit too much. Sure, brew. sure, sure. Um, in an ideal world, and I did this for a long time until some friends of mine had to ask me to stop, um, you don't get an iced Americano. You get however many shots of espresso you want uh -huh. over ice. Over ice. So you don't get the water. Because the water's really taken it away. From yeah, not getting value for and then money. it just gets extra watered down. Yeah, but then if you want a big drink, you need like seven shots of espresso. And that's when people start holding your hands and telling yeah. you, you need to calm down. You have, you have a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I intervening. Had to, I had to pull that in and just go back to Iced Americanos and tell myself that it's all okay. Hey, I'm proud of you for Thank that. You. That's, a, that's a big step. As a coffee lover, I understand. Mm. And I just totally touched my microphone. Sorry, Greg. Uh, I, <laughs> I am also a big fan of Americanos, and I had to do the same thing, so... Yeah. As, as a recovering addict, we'll I, get through this together. We'll get through this together. <laughs> Support is the key. And we have so much more to talk about. So, Steel Magnolias is the next episode. Okay. And I also have some very special coffee that I'm going to have to bring you 100% Kona. You know, most Kona is only 10% when you buy it in the Whoa. grocery store. I bought it from Kona, and I have like three bags of 100% Kona coffee. You got to oh, try it. Hit me up. It's, I've got three different flavors, it's really good. But so that will be next time. We'll have some coffee and some movie reviews. This has been Around the Ring. Danny, thank you so much for thank joining you. me. And you are very interesting. Well, thanks. She said she wasn't interesting, people. She's interesting. Anyway, Around the Ring. Thanks, guys. Up next, did you miss anything from Impact? No problem. We're going to get you caught up. It's In Case You Missed It, next. Welcome back to Explosion, and now it's time for In Case You Missed It. Saban here and Akron have just got to say, Tom, no, no strangers to one another here in TNA. And once upon a time, we're teammates in a battle against Honor No More at No Surrender in 2022. Then fast forward to Rebellion in that year. Steve Macklin scored one of the most important victories in his career that night. He pinned Chris Saban and beat Saban and the great Jay White in the same match that night of Rebellion 2022. Huge, that was a huge statement win. You said it for Macklin. It really oh. set him on the path even further towards the eventual winning of oh. the TNA World title. A title Chris Sabin knows all about as well. And Macklin captured the title of Rebellion 2023. Whoa. Macklin, however, has never beaten Chris Sabin one on one. Her first clash at Under Siege in 2022 went to Sabin. Ooh. And the left arm of Macklin in rough shape right now. Yeah, Saban is laser focused on that left arm. And look out now, look at this. Oh, the left shoulder of Macklin sent into the steel post by Saban. Nasty collision with the steel for Macklin. And again, now Saban. You know, we often, we often see Alex Shelley who turns it up to this level of intensity. And breaks before the count of five, and this intensity we've seen lately from Saban for all the reasons you just listed. Well, Saban did say when they he had that confrontation with Macklin that if he does have any built-up frustration, Macklin is just the guy to take it out on. He seems to be doing just that right here. And these two have been oil and water for the last few years here in this company. Saban has never truly trusted Macklin, well, flat out. They just don't like each other. Well, Macklin. Oh, shoulders down by Macklin, trying to use that left arm. Yeah, not exactly known for playing nice with others. And Saban goes back to the left arm and has really slowed down the pace of this matchup. Who do you think needs this win more? I mean, 
Who needs it more? It, it's got to be Chris Saban. Coming off of everything that's happened with the X Division Championship, he needs to put one in the W column. I mean, you know how badly Macklin wants. Macklin's always very, very aggressive about getting a victory. But if I'm in Saban, if I'm Saban, I feel that desperation just a little bit oh. more. Oh. And now Saban, Saban Whoa. charging after Macklin. Oh, and Saban down to the outside. Oh, oh. and a psycho knee by Macklin. Macklin saw the dive to the floor coming. Move just in time to clean the clock of Chris Saban. Sends Saban back into the ring. Macklin's going up top. Sure headbutt. Nailed it. Cover. Tucks the arm. Saban able to kick out. Kudos to the resilience of Chris Saban. There's a, there is a reason he was a 10-time X Division champion. But Macklin only getting more and more irritated by the minute. And now Macklin trying to figure out what he's got to do to put away the former TNA world champion, Chris Saban. Oh, this is, this is a good start. Oh, and Saban was nearly caught in the crosshairs, nearly a repeat of sacrifice for Macklin. That's right, Macklin, though, saw it coming, gets to his feet. Macklin crashed and burned when he went for that. Oh, Ooh. caught in the crosshairs against Nemeth at sacrifice. And notice Saban right there, not only the neck. Oh. Oh. He had the left arm trapped for a second there. Macklin, though, turning Saban inside out. Look out! Oh. Oh. Set up for mayhem for all. Here's the cover and a kick out by Saban. Big fight feel from both these guys here in our main event on TNA Impact. Plenty at stake for both men. Chris Saban trying to renew his momentum here in TNA. Hopefully trying to inspire some positivity and faith within Time Machine. Meanwhile, Steve Macklin looking to rebound from his fallen alliance with the Rascals and coming up short at sacrifice. Look going out. for another jar headbutt, but it's not there. And Saban taking advantage. There's the Mahi Straw. Is that enough? Oh, kick out by Macklin. Oh! Both oh. guys, same idea here, just colliding. Like two chargers head to head. Two of the very best TNA has to offer. Fighting here in the 2300 Arena. Just slugging it out here oh. at the center of the ring. Saban doubles over Macklin. What a forearm shiver. Driving Saban all the way out of the ring. Oh, went for the sky. Nobody home. Nasty landing for Steve Macklin. Both men are down on the outside. Steve Macklin went for the scud. Target not acquired. Chris Saban able to stay in this thing. That could have been a catastrophe. Macklin with a little bit of self-inflicted friendly fire on that strike. Got a six, Saban rolls back inside. Both men under the count of 10 to get back into the ring or else be counted out. Count of eight. eight. Count of eight. Macklin. Count of nine. And Macklin barely beats the 10 count. The match continues. But barely still counts. Oh, kick to the injured left arm there by Saban. Uh oh. Satellite DDT. Is that enough? Cover. Macklin able to kick out. Just in the nick of time. Despite the damage to his arm, despite the crash to the floor, Macklin stays in it. A hell of a matchup in this our main event. Two of the very best. Oh, now going up onto the shoulders. Think about the cradle shock is saving. Macklin fighting all the way, though. Oh, that left arm saved Macklin for a moment, then Saban nailed it. Macklin's got to be careful where he leaves that arm open. Look out, though. Uh, look out. Saban's caught in the crosshairs. 
And now Macklin trying to follow up, trying to hook him. All the damage to the left arm as he tried to hook the KIA. Couldn't hook Saban. He's trying, trying to fight through it. Saban looking for that cradle shock again. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, the bridge! The bridge by Saban! Oh, Macklin kicked out! Macklin held on! And then the KIA! Macklin gets it! Cover! Macklin puts away Saban! Here's your winner, Steve Macklin! Credit to Saban for finding a way to counter all the way through, but Macklin tenaciously hangs on. Up next, it's Tasha Steele squaring off with the debuting Ava Everett in the Knockouts main event here on Explosion. Thank you for tuning in on TNA Plus and TNA Social and Digital platforms. Right now, it's time for our main event. The following contest And we are set for action here inside the 2300 Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is your main event for TNA Explosion. And Gia, we've got some knockouts action here this evening. Yes, we do. And right now, making her entrance and her TNA Explosion debut, Ava, Ava Everett, excuse me, the Y2 cutie. This is going to be a challenge for Everett. Not only is she making her debut, but she's also going one-on-one -on -one with a former Knockouts World Champion. Best of luck, Ava. Last week on TNA Impact, it was Tasha Steele's main eventing Impact going one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Grace for the Knockouts World Championship. The juggernaut was successful. Tasha Steele's had a gripe in the wake of sacrifice. Yes, she did. She was unsuccessful in her Knockouts title pursuit, but here we are. We're back. We're starting over. Uh, I did talk to Tasha Steele before we got started here tonight, and she honestly isn't too excited about this match, but I am. I'm excited to see it. Well, for Tasha Steele, it's an opportunity to get back in the win column and prove that you can once again compete for the Knockouts World Championship. We learned last night on TNA Impact the future of the Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace come Rebellion. She will be defending her championship against the winner of the 8-4-1 match, Steph DeLander. That is going to be huge. Of course, Rebellion will be live on pay-per-view, TNA+, Plus, Triller TV, YouTube, and internationally on DAZN. That's Saturday, April 20th at the Palms in Las Vegas. You can get your tickets now via TNAWrestling.com and Ticketmaster. Oh. And a good start here by Steeles. Yeah, like I said, Tasha, when I talked to her, she said, Psh, that's all she had to say. She said that this isn't even worth her time, but I also spoke to Ava Everett, who's very excited about this matchup. She's excited to go up against a former Knockouts World Champion in Tasha Steeles, and excited to possibly make her name here tonight. Now uh, listen, I understand that Tasha's in a bad mood and maybe doesn't want to necessarily compete, thinks sure. this is below her. That's yes. kind of the way Tasha carries she herself. That's how you get beat. That's how you lose matches in this business. Exactly. You can't overlook any opponent, no matter who it is. Oh. And down goes Steeles. And Everett with a drop kick. Steeles to the outside. Needs a little bit of a moment to regroup here. Yeah, I, I, like we said, overlooking your opponent. And you don't want to overlook Ava Everett. She has spent time around the world. She spent the last couple of years in Europe perfecting her craft and getting ready to come back and make an impact, no pun intended, here in TNA. Count of five here from the official. Steals this to the count of 10 to get back inside the ring so that the action can continue. And Steele's taking her sweet time this evening, Gia. She is. She is. Uh, like I said, she's she's not too excited about this, but I think we're going to see uh, Tasha get a little fired up, showing a little flavor. Now Steele's. Look at that chop. Oh, now Everett. 
Trying to set up, looking for the full Nelson and a back elbow there by Tasha Steele, slowing up Everett. to be in the knockouts division. We might be uh, beautiful and gracious, but we hit hard. Myself included. Well, now gets that full Nelson here on Steele. Steele gets to the bottom rope, using Ooh. the ropes here for a little bit of leverage and is dropped down to the canvas by Everett. Uh-oh. Uh, center of the ring, Everett. The larger competitor trying to use her size and her strength against Steeles. Oh, and a pump kick. That got enough of Everett for Steeles to take over. You mentioned that size advantage, but we, we know that Tasha Steeles is no stranger to defeating opponents much, much larger than her. She, size isn't a factor for Flava. Oh. Elbow there by Steeles, leaps oh. into the elbow drop. There's the cover, up to the leg, and a kick out there by Everett. Tasha Steeles, she's centering herself now. She, she, she realized maybe she did overlook Ava Everett just a little bit. Now, now we're mean in business. Now it's time to oh. settle the score. And listen, I understand that Tasha is all oh, salty that she didn't come up with the knockouts world championship Salty's after well two two opportunities in about two weeks' time. Oh, and the knockouts world championship off the kick. There's a cover. Everett able to kick out. But hey, maybe this this will be some momentum for Tasha if she's able to pick up this win, able to get a little momentum to get herself back in that picture. At TNA Wrestling in Philadelphia tonight. Rebellion upcoming. Also, we're going to be hitting Albany, New York. We'll be live for Under Siege on Friday, May 3rd. TNA Wrestling presents Impact Saturday, May 4th in Albany. Also, we're heading back to the greater Cincinnati area for two nights of TNA Impact Saturday, May 18th and Sunday, May 19th. That's my birthday. <gasps> Tickets are on sale for all these events now via TNAWrestling.com. Happy early birthday, Tom. I just had one myself. I know you did. I'm now fully developed. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> My brain. Tasha Steele's taking control of Everett here. And if you haven't done so already, head to TNAWrestling.com and check out TNA Plus. TNA Plus World Championship tier subscribers will have the opportunity of seeing every TNA live special and all four tentpole TNA pay-per-view events on TNA Plus like Rebellion. Membership tiers begin at just $9.99 a month. For more information, visit TNAWrestling.com and subscribe now. TNA Plus, if you haven't seen anything until you've seen everything. Speaking of everything, ooh, these two are just slugging it out. Wow, suplexes here. Could be going for the three amigos. Tasha Steeles. Oh. A uh, uh -oh. backhanded homage to Eddie Guerrero, certainly an inspiration for Tasha Steeles. Oh, and the suplex there by Everett, who counters. Hey, a little too much flavor. It uh, sometimes can overwhelm you, overwhelm the palate. Got to take a little, little spice off. And Everett is hanging in there with a veteran of TNA. Oh. Uh, Steeles tries to fire back. And Everett holding her own here. Again, trying to use that size, those long arms to her advantage. Yeah, that, oof, that reach with those arms and legs. Able to keep Tasha Steele at an arm's length, literally. Into the top turnbuckle. Oh, now Steele's, Steele's head first into the top turnbuckle. And Everett, oh. Everett is tuning up the band. She's feeling it. Look out. Almost maybe thinking about lining up for a super kick. Back elbow, that got enough of Steels. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't good. Oh, down goes Steels, is this it? Can Everett get the win? No, a kick out. Not quite enough to put away the greatest that beat the greatest, in her own words. In reference to Tasha Steeles, her single knockouts world championship, she won back in 2022 against the great Mickey James. I mean, if I if I did that, I would I would never let anybody. You would never it. shut up about it. No, I never shut up anyway. Oh, that's why you have this job. 
Now Everett, oh, went for the double knees, went for the lung blower, but Tasha Steele's held onto the ropes and prevented it. Uh-oh. Oh. Went for the Meteor out of the corner. Super oh. kick. And now that cover oh. by Steeles. Hey, Gad. The break with pass wins. Came in underestimating her opponent a little bit, but nonetheless, Tasha Seals gets a win on the road to Rebellion. Thank you for joining us on TNA Explosion.